Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing my March favorites. Holy crap, I cannot believe I'm saying that. We are just a couple days short of being in April, and it is just ridiculous. I haven't done a favorites video in so long. I think the last one I did was in December. Honestly, I don't know. Time just kept going past me, and then I'm like, oh, I'm going to do the favorites for the month of January. And then February rolled in, and then February was over, and I'm like, oh. 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 Honestly, no excuses here. I honestly just, just time was going too fast for me and I wasn't catching up. I don't want to make this intro really long because then I'm sitting there editing saying, oh my god, when am I going to stop talking? So without further ado, if you want to see the products that I've been loving for the month of March, then keep on watching. The first product that I wanted to mention that I have been absolutely loving, not only the month of March, the month of February too, is the EX1 Invisiware Foundation. This has been talked about and hyped about all over YouTube for probably a year now and I want to say the hype is so real with this. This is a really amazing foundation. I talked a little bit about it in my get ready with me that I posted about two weeks ago and I did want to give it another shout out because it totally deserves it. This foundation is sheer to medium coverage for me. I don't think it's a full coverage foundation by any means. You can probably build it there with a couple extra layers, but I honestly don't. I think it's beautiful um, just with two layers. It just gives you the perfect coverage. It evens out your skin tone so beautifully. This foundation is tailored to olive and yellow skin toned people. So with that being said, this is the foundation for me. I am very yellow and very much olive. And it's really, really tough for me to find foundations sometimes that work for me because a lot of times they can tend to look pale or too pink or just not right. So this has the perfect hint of olive and the perfect hint of yellow. So I would definitely look into this foundation if you haven't already. It is a really, really nice price point. It only costs like $16 or $17. And I got mine from Look Fantastic. So I'm telling you, this foundation is key. Mine is in the shade F300. Now it is a little bit too dark for me, but I still make it work. And even then, I still love it. I'm going to be using this foundation all throughout the summer. So yeah, look into this foundation for sure. This is the EX1 Invisiware Liquid Foundation. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys saw this coming if you watch my videos, but the next product I wanted to mention is the RCMA No Color Powder. So many people are trying to get their hands on this and still haven't been able to, but I cannot stress enough, hang in there guys, you're going to be able to get it at some point, and let me tell you, it is so, so worth the wait. It is only $10, I think they upped the price actually, I think recently I saw that it was $12, so it went from $10 to being $12 at least on Beautylish it is. So I don't know if they're trying to slick us like that, but it is going up in price. But I definitely, definitely still think it's worth the $12. Heck, I, I think this product is worth the $30 or $38 that we pay Laura Mercier for hers. Honestly, I say that because this is 3 ounces of product and the Laura Mercier one is only 1 ounce of product at its biggest and it costs just about $40. So the fact that you can get this and it has 2 more ounces than the other one and it costs not even a fraction of the cost. Like it's so inexpensive and it's such a good product. And looking at it like this, it looks a little questionable. Um, but honestly, it is just such a good, good powder. It's so high quality. I mean, it's just amazing. If you're oily, this is going to be a match made in heaven for you because it's just going to suck up all the oils in your skin and just keep you nice and matte throughout the day. I do get really, really oily on some parts of my face. And just by dabbing this, it keeps me nice and matte like for a good 12 hours as ridiculous as that sounds this product is so 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 worth the money and it's so beyond worth the hype so I cannot stress enough if you're still waiting for it to come back in stock I highly highly recommend that you don't lose your patience and you stay on that little wait because I'm telling you it is so so worth it the next product that I wanted to mention and it's been buzzing a lot here on YouTube is the wet n wild mega glow contouring palette I absolutely love this. The only thing is that it's a little bit too light for me, but I can still get away with it if I pack it on a little bit heavily, but I do want to get the darker one. I haven't been able to find it anywhere just because it is sold out right now everywhere that I look in my local drugstore because I think that one will be a little bit more appropriate for a contour for me. But if you are fair, this will be your match made in heaven for a contour palette from the drugstore. I'm not kidding. Like this is such a good product. The formula is great. The longevity is great. Like this is not overly powdery. Like the color is just right. It's not too warm. It's not too cool. Like this is just such a good product and it only costs like five bucks. I cannot stress enough how amazing this contour palette is. I wanted to give a quick shout out to this little brush here from elf this is the professional powder brush this only costs like two dollars in target or anywhere where they sell elf 
Guys, this is such a good little contour brush. This fits the areas of my face where I was to do a contour so well. It's not too big, it's not too small, it's not too dense, it's not too flimsy. Like, it's just perfect. It really is a perfect brush for that. It's only $2, so the price is beyond, beyond, right? I've had it for a while now, and I really, really love it. It really, really is a nice brush, and it doesn't shed. I haven't had an issue with it, so I would definitely look into this if you haven't already. I wanted to give a quick shout out to this right here. This is the Ofra Banana Powder. This came in my BoxyCharm this month and I have not put it down. Although I really do love the RCMA powder and I would never take anything away from it. There's days that you just don't feel like baking to be completely honest. To lose powder it's meant to be messy. It's meant to go all over the place. Like it's meant to do that. There's days that you just don't have time for that. And on days that you don't have time for that it's good to set your face with just a regular powder. And for that specific scenario I like to use this right here and I have been using it non-stop. It reminds me so much of the Anastasia one. It's really really creamy. It's buttery. It's smooth it's not cakey at all and it's just perfect if you're yellow or if you have yellow undertones let me tell you this is gonna be your friend definitely look into it if you have boxy charm chances are you already got this so I highly recommend that you use it if you haven't yet so next I have this eyebrow pencil and this is also for my boxy charm for the month of March if you have boxy charm then chances are you already got this too this is the Chella taupe eyebrow pencil I do use the brow whisk for my eyebrows to fill them in and I did run out the other day sad story it was very tragic it was a very tragic moment I feel like brow whisk is that one thing that you don't know you're about to run out of until you go to scroll it up and there's no more left and you're like I know trust me I know I know how it feels to run out of brow whisk it's a sad moment in life so after I freaked out about the fact that I ran out of the brow whisk I went and searched for something else and this was the other thing that I had available to me. So I was kind of forced to use it because I had nothing else. One of those things, I know. This is in the shade Taupe. And it's just a very, very nice eyebrow pencil. It's extremely thin and it's very creamy. It really does remind me of the Anastasia one. Too. It's what I have on my eyebrows today. I don't have any problems with this. Like, I honestly like it. And I'm not going to say that I like it more than the Anastasia one. Less, but I mean, the fact that I like it so much that... I don't feel the hurt of losing or I don't feel the hurt of being out of my Anastasia one is a lot to say for me because when I don't have my Anastasia brow whisk, I usually have to go around and buy one because I will not know what to do with my brows. The only thing is I just don't know the price so I don't know how comparable it is in price. I'll be sure to list it down below because I would actually like to know myself what the price is. If you guys have BoxyCharm and you guys have tried it out, let me know what you think of it down below because I would love to know how other people feel about it. Another favorite for me has been the NYX HD Concealer in the shade Beige. You guys have seen me use this in uh, previous tutorials and I absolutely love it. I spoke about it then and I will say it again. This concealer is so amazing. It has just the right consistency where it's not too thick, it's not too thin, yet it gives you the most beautiful, seamless, flawless coverage. It's just a really, really nice concealer. I cannot say enough good things about it. It's affordable. It's only five bucks or in that price point from the drugstore. So you know the price is going to be good. I absolutely love this concealer. The last thing I wanted to mention for this month, the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. This says it's a concealer brush, but I use it to highlight. And let me tell you, it is the best highlight brush of all freaking time. I love this brush. I'm able to put this on the top of my cheekbones and highlight so beautifully. I have not put this down ever since I first started using it for highlight. It's only like a couple bucks. It's e.l.f. so you know it's going to be a good price. Honestly guys, if you haven't yet, run to your local Target and pick this up because it is so good. If you don't have a highlight brush that you absolutely love, I definitely recommend starting with this one because I love it so much so guys that pretty much completes my favorite for the month of march thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to leave me your favorite for the month of march down below too because i would love to know thank you so much for watching and until the next time i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye